Hello, YouTubers. Once again, your host, Shadow Ratman, is on the air. Well, sorry I ain't posted up as much as I've been wanting to. I ain't had the time or much of anything else on my hands lately. My buddies Icy and Chronic have been absent due to they work and school. So... You know, um, as far as another update on Naruto goes, man, it has gotten intense. Team 7 just got done beating the bloody crap out of, what was it, the, uh, Sage of Six Paths wife or mother, I forget, um, the final chapter is coming out in manga um, by the end of November, from what I've heard. Um, man, and Naruto and Sasuke are duking it out for the last time, finally. Sasuke has the Renegon, but ain't gained much with it, which is kind of actually disappointing. I would expect that he would have gotten some kind of jutsu or something. Whereas Naruto's gotten the powers of the Sage of the Sixth Path. I still stick to my statement. Naruto keeps getting more and more odd. On another note, um, as of recent with Yu-Gi-Oh, um, by last month, I picked up a few, I picked up actually a booster box, and as of, yeah, I believe it was also last, yeah, August was the booster box of Duelist Alliance, and as of last month, I got the deluxe box, which I can actually prove. I got it right here. Um, that I, I got pretty much every card out of the set, except for a few cards, particularly one of them being Odd Eyes Pendulum Dragon. And that card's price has gone up since the release of it, which has been very irksome. And difficult to get out of the packs. I'm sure any of you duelists would know what I mean. Um, on another note, though, I've kind of fallen behind on magic, so mm, I might buy a booster box. I'm not sure yet. Um, although, I've heard some really good cards have come out of magic as of late, but a lot more replant, reprints. Um, from what I've heard as well. Uh, let's see, what's something else I can toss out here? I don't care to hear any hate comments about this, but as a special request, I am learning how to play My Little Pony Collectible Card Game. I did pick up two theme decks. Uh, one of which is the Twilight Sparkle Applejack deck and Rarity and Rainbow Dash theme deck. Um, anybody wants to give me some pointers on how to play this game it would be very appreciated. Um, for those of you who follow me, lose respect and unsubscribe, it's your problem. I mean... You know, I'm a brony, okay? Who really cares? You know, I like my little point, especially this this fourth generation. I've actually watched all of season one. I've been watching season two. I'm trying to catch up before the fifth season starts up. Um, this generation has actually got some really good values and points behind it, and it's got a great adventure. There, there is stallions, a.k.a. male horses, you know, and mares, which are the female ponies. And it's just, it, it, it's not just directed at a female generation anymore, let alone even just kids. This has been directed at a more a older as well as younger audience, both male and female. Now, for those of you who might have gone to these brony cons or whatever, 
I've never been, although I wouldn't mind going, just so I could get more knowledge about it. But there's the adventure revolves around these things called the elements of harmony. You got honesty, loyalty, generosity, um, laughter. Um, let's see, what one am I missing? Kindness and magic. You know, basically, these are the elements of actually friendship, not just harmony. And when you think about it, well, if you got a true friend, you want them to be honest to you, loyal to you. Um, you you're generous towards each other. You have to have kindness and understanding. And uh, what one was I missing again? Let's see. I see loyalty, kindness, generosity, laughter. You know, joy, fun with each other and the, this I don't know why they put it as an element in itself but all that together feels like it's magic you know you just can't explain how it is why it's there really just you know that through your trials and tribulations with each other it's, it's just developed a bond so in any case this adventure continues with you know these elements now they've are as far as I know of there's already been three main villains there was discord and I believe in season one and two um pudge who was the other one? I, I forget who the second villain was for season three but season four was this very evil wasn't always evil but as due to lo loneliness and sadness and despair, basically all the negative emotions, he kind of went evil. And he's a minotaur of sorts. You know, and he absorbed magic from all of the unicorns in Equestria. Now, bef I I'm not trying to give out spoilers or anything, but for anybody who watches MLP and ain't caught up, I'm sorry, but at the end of it, in part two, I forget what the name of the episode was, but part two to the end of season four, is um, Princess Celestia, Princess Luna, and Princess Cadence all gave their magic to Princess Twilight Sparkle, because this, this Minotaur did not know of Princess Sparkle as a princess yet. So he went after Celestia, Luna, and Cadence and found they had no magic. He was very upset. And while he's going after them, Twilight's trying to get a grasp of all this magical energy. By the end of it, it ends in a battle between Twilight Sparkle and this Minotaur. And what happened was... Um, somewhere along season three or four, I believe, th there was this thing, this box, that had six keyholes in it. Now, obviously, it came out from the uh, the Tree of Harmony, which hosts the Elements of Harmony, and they didn't know how to open it. Well, what happened was, throughout, I think it was season four, each of the ponies faced a challenge that tested their element. And they, as they overcame these challenges, an object was handed to them by someone involved in this. Well, when each of these items were brought to this box, they turned into a key. Except Twilight didn't know, understand about the six keyholes. Well, something happened where, with this whole challenge that tested her element of harmony, which is magic. All the magic was entrusted to her by the three other princesses. This overcame her challenge because she accepted it. 
She was shy to. She was afraid to, but she did. So she got her her key and unlocked the box. Well, along the battle, her house, the library, got destroyed. So after the battle was over, she vanquished the Minotaur and basically going Super Saiyan on his backside. Ultimate leaving him in defeat. A new castle sprouted where her house was. Now you are a true princess, Twilight Spark. She has been my favorite character next to Rainbow Dash. Applejack is really cool. She's my third favorite. I love Rarity, but she's like down there. And it's not that I'm trying to put Rarity above Fluttershy, but... If Fluttershy was just to do a little bit more, I think that I would really like her even more. But I think her cuteness is just really great. Pinkie Pie, I'm sorry, you're at the bottom. I, I don't care. You're just too annoying. Um, and for those of you who have seen it, please tell me where I can find it. But... The new Equestria Girls Rainbow Rocks movie. So, if you got any information on it, please let me know. But this video has gone on a little bit long. So, as far as everybody who has watched this to the end, thank you. I appreciate your time. Like I said, I, I, I appreciate comments. I'll take positive comments anytime. I'll take a few negatives, but I do not like hate comments. So if you have a hate comment, don't even bother commenting. But for anybody who you got positive or negative, sure, something you don't like about my video, okay, but don't go ranting. Um, so in any case, thank you for anybody who's watched this. And um, subscribe, like it. Share me around on Facebook or wherever. I, I don't care, you know. I, I just want to get some views updated, you know. I want people to find out about me. And again, if you have any special requests on a video you'd like me to record or something, let me know. Um, if I'm ever able to get it happening, I want to throw down some duels and show you guys some of my skills. Let's get it on. If anybody wants to challenge me, Message me, and uh, if you want, I will do a Skype duel with you. No problem. Or if you feel you want to have a deeper conversation with me on a topic, let me know, and we'll see what we can work out. In the meantime, all of you, have a God bless one, Allah one, whatever your religion belief is. May God bless all religions and have a great day.